Hey everybody, this is John Lemesny, and the reason that I am uh, broadcasting to you today is that I wanted to talk a little bit about a request that I've had pretty often recently that is um, specifically to let people know what kinds of presentations I typically give. And uh, I, in the past, have told them to go ahead and go to my website and look through because I use my uh, lamazny.com and other sites in the past as a um, as an easy way to sort of see chronologically uh, what presentations I'm giving. As I do a presentation, I will often um, do a short write-up of it and put it on my site. Uh, sometimes with video, etc. So. Uh, what I did was I wrote up a post and I'm going to read it to you in the event that um, you just see the video or you want to see the video and the text and also to give you a little bit of an introduction to me in an interpersonal way so that you can see sort of the way that I like to present so um, what I'm going to do is just go to my post and talk to you a little bit about what I wrote I said um, Recently, a few people have approached me for uh, looking for an overview of the kinds of topics I typically talk about for presentations. And after writing that email out a few times, I decided to make a page here to refer people to instead. You can see all the topics I've spoken about in the last few years by navigating the website's post backwards, especially in the presentations category. Uh, but here is a short portfolio of talks, descriptions, and presentations that my favorite venues and audiences uh, like to ask me to present on. Uh, in general, I talk on the following topics. Technology, open source software, technology standards, open standards, uh, presenting, social media, organizational development and branding, uh, visual branding, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, Android, Dropbox, Box.net, LinkedIn, Inkscape, the GNU image manipulation program, Chrome, Linux, servers and services, system administration, video, hangouts, uh, Google+, blogging, nutrition, food, holistic living, small living, media, streaming video, audio production, uh, audio management, music, mindfulness, meditation, walking, graphic design, creativity, design principles, making and the make movement, infographics, instructional technology, library technology, communication, cooking, mediation for organizations, uh, generational learning differences, and cloud computing. This is not a complete list of the things I like to talk about, but it is a good overview of the kinds of things I like to talk about. So then I have a list of 10 presentations that my audiences uh, tend to show up for. Uh, these talks are often customized to a venue's particular needs and wants. They can be given in two three-hour sessions, one full-day session, or a bridge to a one or two hour standalone session. They can be lecture style uh, presentations presented to bring your own device audiences with laptops or computer lab setups. These descriptions cover what would typically happen in a day long workshop and shorter sessions will have a more concise scope. Um, they can be designed to talk about specific needs within an organization such as a launch of a web service using open source software like WordPress or generalized to an anonymous audience where the presentation is more of a moderated discussion where needs uh, emerge as we go. The first presentation is best practices in graphic design or design for non-designers. It's likely in your work or personal life you've been asked to create some communication on paper, on screen, or in some visual uh, presentation methodology. One problem with this is that the only tools that you're given to complete the task are ones like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or Publisher, which are not really very great uh, design tools, but rather fill in the blank approaches to design where your creativity is limited to what the application provides in a prepackaged way. Another issue is that in our society we're typically taught reading, writing, and mathematics, but seldom taught even the most basic visual communication concepts. This workshop gives you the foundation of design principles, key free tools for design and illustration, and sources for inspiration so that you can go from simply creating a solution to the visual communication problem to creating the best solution for your particular needs. Come and learn about color theory, topography, layout skills, inspiration sources, tools, critique, and start creating more effective visual messages. I think that given the length of these, I'm probably only going to do 
a few. Uh, and if you want to see the rest, you can go to the site. It's at uh, lemasny.com, L-E-M-A-S-N-E-Y. The second presentation I have here is Google Services and Cloud Computing, and I say, Google is well known as a contemporary behemoth in the technology industry. People often dip their toes into the Google e ecosphere uh, with a Gmail account or through the purchase of an Android phone, but know few of the possibilities or benefits of embracing the rest of these tools. Aside from getting your email through Google or doing searches, you can become a part of deep communities of practice through Google+, share backup and store all of your digital photos with Picasa and Google Plus Photos, upload and stream all of your music with Google Music, collaborate backup and edit your documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, and more with Google Drive, manage events through Google Calendar and Plus Events, uh, meet virtually, share your screen, broadcast and archive video with Google Plus Hangouts on Air, find your way, discover new venues, and store that information with maps, and a lot more. Come and discover the wealth of possibilities available for free with Google's suite of services. And I think this is the last one that I'm going to talk about. Uh, it's using Inkscape and GIMP for graphic design. You've probably heard of Adobe's ubiquitous visual design and image manipulation products, Illustrator and Photoshop. Many people think of them as the only real solution for professional design. People sometimes explain to me proudly how they were able to convince Adobe to sell them a fully working version of Photoshop for a highly discounted price of just a few hundred dollars. I can tell you what I told them. As an artist, photographer, and designer who does not have hundreds or thousands of extra dollars for licensing these products, that there are fantastic, powerful alternatives in uh, the open source world. Inkscape is an alternative to Il Adobe Illustrator, a serious vector-based tool for digital illustration, and perhaps my favorite application to work with. It supports standard SVG, PDF, PNG, and many other formats, and offers calligraphy, fonts, path, and layering tools. I use it just about every day, and think of it as an extension of my fingers and mind, a way to get what's in my mind onto the screen or page without barriers. GIMP or the GNU Image Manipulation Program is an alternative to Adobe Photoshop that offers alpha layer manipulation, masking, marquee selection, color play, histographic manipulation, effects, and brush creation and selection. These tools are free, but do not make the mistake. They can give you the power to make rich, dreamlike images to faithfully recreate what you have in your mind. Come learn how to wield that power. So uh, there are seven more presentations on there. If you are a library programmer or an organizational programmer for training for your staff and you would like to talk about technology topics that can help you organizationally, or if you are a user group, um, such as a Linux users group or a Windows users group, and you are looking for people to come and speak about uh, these kinds of topics, I would absolutely love to. Um, John Lamazny, my email address is lamazny, L-E-M-A-S-N-E-Y, at gmail.com. Uh, you can read a lot more about how I feel about these topics at lamazny.com. And uh, if you want to give me a call, I'm at 609-553-9498. Thanks so much for your attention. Have a great day.